my coffee beans hope you guys are loving and taking care of yourselves i think i speak for everyone when i say the most difficult time of the month as a woman is being on your period like i literally don't want to say anything don't want to do anything don't want to see anyone so i thought i'd bring you guys along on a typical day of how i navigate this period without killing anyone so i'm very slow with my waking up like i don't wake up as early as i normally would because i'm really just tired like i'm really just drained and depleted and the first thing i do is hop into the bathroom because as opposed to a normal day where i'd grab my journal and you know do a little mindful journaling or going into my scriptures and everything like that here i really just feel gross and i just want to get clean so the first order of the day is going into the bathroom and here as per usual i'm brushing my teeth first I then get a nice playlist going on besties please don't even ask me to plug you with my playlist because i know you guys are strict you're gonna be like how come x and z are in the same playlist like one thing about me my playlists are all over the place but best believe i'm a vibe to them so once i get that going on i then prepare my underwear for the day because you guys know as soon as you hop out of that shower it's a race between gravity time and your bleeding coochie so i rather have my underwear ready so that as soon as i hop out of the shower i'm putting it on so for the pads i'm using i'm using the always ultra thin night pads i absolutely love these because before they only had the thicker ones and i have a heavy flow so i don't want to feel like i'm wearing a nappy during the day so shout out to them for coming up with the thinner pads there's no leaks no spills and i literally swear by these and once my underwear is ready i then hop into the shower and of late since it's winter i've been using the sanix shower gel in the shower but then when i'm on my period since i don't really have the luxury of lighting a candle and soaking in a bath i then incorporate the self-care element by using a fragrance body wash and spoiling myself and y'all already know regardless of the body wash i always use the clean logic exfoliating stretch cloth when i'm showering and i really love the dark body wash because despite it having fragrance it still doesn't leave me feeling stripped and dry and tired like like other body washes would. I then go in with my Gynagod Intimate Wash. As you can see, I have the blue one as opposed to the pink one, which you guys saw before. For no particular reason, I just saw that this one is for more sensitive skin and when I needed a refill, I decided to get it. Once that's done, I go in with my absolute favorite body scrub, the Vanilla Patchouli Body Scrub from Woolworths. Absolutely love this and this is also another step where I'm just trying to be more intentional with my shower because usually when I'm on my period, I just want to get it over and done with. Like I just want to get clean, get it done and get back into bed. So I decided to just be more intentional with my time take my time with my time and treat myself to a nice exfoliation session So once I'm done drying myself up and putting on my underwear, period, I then go in with the CeraVe Moisturizing Body Cream. I absolutely love this stuff. I use it when my skin is still a little bit damp, so when I'm drying, I don't dry my skin completely. So I am currently on an Instagram campaign with them. However, this video is not sponsored. I just genuinely love the product, hence I've added it to my everyday body care routine.
like I said besties when I'm on my cycle I literally do not want to do anything so I hop onto Uber Eats and order my current fave which is the burrito from the Chiapas Mexican food spot at Santon I absolutely love this stuff so I always get the pulled beef flavor you guys need to try it out in this lifetime everybody needs to experience Chiapas okay so once that's done and my food is on the way I go ahead and put on a thin layer of clothing so that I can use these heat patches from Femagene which I actually got a disc cam so I won't lie and say that I have the worst period pains on earth but then I do get some really intense period pain so I really love these because as opposed to holding a hot water bottle I can just plop these on you're actually supposed to put them over your underwear but then I wear like little underwear so um, the patch is too big and I don't want it to be directly on my skin so I put it over my jumpsuit and then I go ahead and wear my robe because when I'm on my period, I just want to be comfortable. Like, that's it and that's all. Clean, comfy, and my food is on the way. I can finally get around to journaling, devotion, and scripture. And I just want to take this time to encourage you guys to pray about the quote-unquote normal things that we face and experience. Because I was watching a sermon and the pastor was basically explaining how as born-again Christians, we have the advantage of the Holy Spirit. Like there's no need for us to be living a normal life, a common life with common problems. So something which I have been intentionally and consciously praying about is my period pains because I used to experience the most unbearable period pains and um, I've witnessed it for my sister and my cousin who prayed for their period pains and right now do not experience a single bit of pain so it's just something I've been tapping into and I'd encourage you guys to tap into as well so once that's done I then go ahead and use this African cranberry concentrate. Shout out to Ad Belinda Guala for sharing this gem because I really love this stuff. It retails for less than 200 rand at Discam. You can just find it on the shelves. And um, it basically helps out with gut health and any um, BV that you may have or yeast infections. Any Anything that's just not normal down there it helps with that so i've really been enjoying incorporating this not even just on my periods but then every single day so you mix two tablespoons into a cup with eight tablespoons of water before your meals twice a day and um it's very organic so it doesn't taste the best because i really thought um normal cranberry juice helped with your kushi but apparently it's the organic unsweetened stuff with no preservatives whatsoever so it actually doesn't really last long i think you can only have one bottle for about a week or so so once i'm done drinking my cranberry concentrate i grab my favorite drink the lychee soda from woolworths another thing which you guys need to try out trust me on this one i'm not huge on like lychee drinks and um you know lychee flavors i don't even like the fruit but the drink is insane like shout out to Woolworths for that and my food had also arrived so i can dig in you guys one thing about chiapas is like it's just so juicy it's so fat they're not stingy with ingredients so i just go ahead and enjoy my food while i kick back relax and enjoy my comfort show i'm super excited that they came out with this season is it season three or season four i think it's season four of never have i ever because you know davy stresses me out like i really i do not like this girl at all she really stresses me out but then i literally cannot stop watching her Once I'm done eating, Itis obviously has me in a chokehold and all I want to do is take a nap, honey. So before taking a nap, I have to change my pad and I've really been enjoying these Ghana God sensitive wipes. They just give me a cleaner wipe, a cleaner feel as I change my pad. And once the pad is changed, I then change into something more comfortable because you guys know sleeping in a robe 
jump scare honey so i change into a track suit and a beanie switch on my bedside lamp and hop into my unmade bed because i won't lie to you guys and say i made my bed one thing about me on my period i'm literally the most laziest hun on god's green earth but we're praying about it like i said earlier but thank you so much for watching besties just a series of me sleeping eating throughout the day and um yeah see you next time